Thanks for staying with us here on Joy News Prime. My name is Hans Mensando, and of course I bring you sports. Now, in a rather interesting twist, state broadcaster GBC is a legend that they submitted a higher bid than Ghana Premier League and FA Cup broadcast right holders, Star Times. And uh, GBC released a statement um, just this evening making setting claims. Now, as you can see on your screen, it reads on the 8th of January 2020, the Ghana Football Association press release named Star Times Ghana as a television rights holder of the Ghana Premier League and the FA Cup. According to the statement, Star Times emerged winners of the competitive bidding process after the GFA accepted their offer, which was the best among other bids. The Ghana Broadcasting Corporation put in a bid which we are certain was superior to what Star Times is said to have submitted. As published by the GFA website, Star Times offered to pay 5.25 million US dollars, which comes up to um, a little over 1 million US dollars annually, while GBC made a financial offer of 1.1 million US dollars annually. It is for this and other reasons that we received the news with disappointment and shock. Now, it goes on to say, apart from GBC's superior financial offer, we thought that the Premier League and FA Cup content would have been treated like a national treasure and given to the national broadcaster and a consortium of local broadcasters. GBC wishes to put it on public record that the national broadcaster and the local TV consortium have been treated unfairly and unjustly. The GFA decision will gravely impact on Ghanaians' access to the Ghana Premier League and the FA Cup live games on free-to-air broadcasts. It must be placed on record that when Ghana football sank to its lowest ebb in the aftermath of the number 12 expose, it was a GBC that invested huge human and material resources to work with the normalization committee to bring the special competition to the homes of Ghanaians live. GBC did this at a time nobody cared about showing the game on TV because it was unattractive. We demonstrated capacity by showing two matches simultaneously on GTV Sports Plus and GTV. We must place on record that the African Centre Survey report on the Ghana Premier League on the 19th of December 2019 gives GTV and GTV Sports Plus a whopping 56% of the market share and it defies logic that the right would be given to a company that does not even show up on the poll and does not have FTA capabilities, which is the surest way to reach most Ghanaians. GBC has FTA capabilities like none other. Apart from GTV and GTV Sports Plus, we have a nationwide network of radio stations with combined effect of reaching Ghanaians better than any other station in the country. GBC thinks the right thing must be done. It was issued by Miss Mamle Asai, who is the Director of Corporate Affairs, GBC, Accra. So, very interesting twist there to this one. Of course, the Ghana Football Association have got a few questions to answer. And among them will be, you know, what other considerations were made in awarding um, the right to start times beyond the monetary considerations. So, um, we also understand that, that the GFA will be releasing a statement in the coming hours. Let's um, move on. And as part of the ongoing tertiary games, Chairman of the Technical Committee, Mr. Shaibu Ibrahim Imam, has assured residents of the capital and its immediate surroundings to attend the games and observe athletes in their prime. Um, as at now, I mean, one will not be able to, to tell which university will, will come up tops because every every university is working hard to to annex the the the, the, the next the trophy now, if you watch last year's event compared to this year would you say there has been some improvement sure the, in fact there is vast the improvement is highly highly big and for that matter i i think records will be broken as far as this competition is concerned after events like this what next for this at least yeah unfortunately um this is not a FISU year. Most often we do this competition to select athletes for World University Games. But that notwithstanding, we still have a All Africa University Games, that's FASU Games in Kenya. That will be in August. So universities can rely on this and improve on their athletes' performances for their competition. We expect 
the general entirety of uh, Accra and, and, and its environs to come here and, and watch, I mean, uh, athletes who are, who are in their I mean, primes to, to, to work for the nation. That's it for sports. There is more on myjoyonline.com forward slash sports. My name is Hans Mensando. Many thanks for your time.